Hello, everyone. Welcome to History with Hersafat. I'm your host, Chris, aka Hersafat. Today, I'll be conversing with some benevolent humanitarians about the year that was 2009. The views shared on this podcast come from your everyday, ordinary people. My hope is that it'll give a unique perspective on history. Uh, how is everyone this uh, evening? Uh, happy birthday, Brett. Happy birthday. Cool, thank yeah. you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Feeling fine about 2009. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, boy. Wasn't it great about 2008? <laughs> mm-hmm. It yeah. was. I'm going to mm-hmm. make it a thing. Well, I mean, that's this is pretty much your only chance. This is the last one. We're yep. going to be doing the uh, the, the 90s in a, in a little bit here. We'll be going into that decade um, just for future podcasts. Uh, also, I decided I, I've been looking into this. It's, it's a fascinating for at least for me. It's fascinating. Um, parasocial relationships. I've been hearing that a lot um in certain you know social mediums that i in, you know indulge in you know like a twitch or something like that like i talk about mm-hmm. parasocial relationships and i have no idea what you know the hell that is and i look into it and it's it's actually quite interesting as it extends beyond usually what you hear on twitch uh very it's very fascinating um i'm planning on having a talk on that on parasocial relationships what they mean um and what it entails and you know whether they're good or bad and how, you know, how that varies. Uh, also, uh, another podcast for the sounds of music, the beneficial sounds of music was still going to planning on doing that. Just uh, got to get uh, internet squared away there and we'll be, we'll be bringing you that. So um, that looking forward to, to that for sure. Um, today we have, was it Brad, Nick, Baller and I, um, we will be conversing about uh, 2009. This is the last year in our re- reflection on the decade that was the 2000s. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> been interesting. A lot mm-hmm. of some things I've forgotten, you know, some things I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Um, it's been it's been a good time. Uh, I'm looking forward to the 90s, too. So uh, mm-hmm. uh, it should, yeah. should be a good time. Ooh, yes. All right. And with that, we'll get started on uh, our timeline here. And on January 15th of 2009, U.S. Airways flight 1549 lands in the Hudson River in an accident that becomes known as the Miracle on the Hudson, as all 155 people on board are rescued. The captain, Sully Sullenberger, celebrated the occasion by declaring himself the greatest commercial pilot in the world has ever seen while telling his fellow pilots to kiss his ass and suck his cock pilot. On January 20th, well, you know, Tom Hanks played him in a movie. Spot on. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah, uh, no, that's actually a, a pretty crazy. If you've never seen that movie or you know read about that story, it's really it's insane that nobody died. It's it's a borderline miracle. Borderline. Right. Yeah. Is it? I is it though? I mean, a miracle. Yeah. Yes. Is, yes, well, it it's borderline. <laughs> meaning it's the that closest get, thing there is. Right. Without <laughs> branching off into the supernatural. Right. Right. By. <laughs> demonstrating it in court because he actually got taken to court oh wow okay and so he he had to defend himself on stand and he just claimed that you know like this is how it happened this is why it happened Mm -hmm. and this is you know and so but and they tried to disprove him at one point yeah didn't didn't he run into a pack of birds or something where the birds ran into him seagulls or something like in a wild pack of birds yeah but like if you will like right. they did like a, a test again, like a computer test, like a, just a, just to run the whole thing again, as if it were happening right. in real time. Like a simulation. A simulation. And it went yeah. exactly how he said it did. Incredible. Um, yeah. So, uh, but it was very, very close to being complete disaster and everyone dying. Um, but still not supernatural. Right. Order. <laughs> uh, but on, uh, um, on January 20th, Barack Obama is sworn in as the 44th president of the United States, becoming the first African-American to hold the office and the first Antichrist grandparent killing Muslim Nazi to win a Nobel Peace Prize. That's on February 28th. Kind of the same joke from last time. Yeah, but this time he wins a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, oh, yeah. right, right. right. <laughs> so he's going to be the first of those many different yeah. kinds to do a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, I just got to keep naming them. I'll just maybe I'll make the list longer. But I mean, he's not in the '90s, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, yeah, remember, right. Yeah. <laughs> remember his his if name anything. was his name was Barack Hussein. Hussein Obama. Obama. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure. The spirit of Saddam. <laughs> within him. That's right. Yeah, and but yeah, yeah. So we'll go to uh, February twenty eighth. Uh, American radio broadcaster Paul Harvey dies after finally hearing the rest of his story. Um, on May twenty fifth. <laughs> 
North Korea announces that it has conducted a second successful nuclear test in North Hamgong province. The United Nations Security Council condemns the reported test, but applauds North Korea for its steadfast ability to create magnificent macaroni art sculptures. Um, I'm going to really miss talking about North Korea. It seems like they're in the fucking news every year. <laughs> and I was like, what right. more ridiculous sh shit? I don't know. But yeah, they're always testing nukes and doing something with nukes. Uh, this constant. Uh, on January, or I'm sorry, on June 3rd, on June 3rd, 2009, David Carradine, dies from autoerotic asphyxiation um, while watching old Kung Fu episodes. Um, David Carradine, uh, obviously he's on the show Kung Fu, but uh, he's uh, Kill Bill. He's Bill. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You know, I was, I was wondering if that guy was still hanging around. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, we've got Kung Fu grip, I can tell you that. Mm. Um, Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, on June 11th, uh, the outbreak of the H1N1 influenza strain, commonly referred to as the swine flu, is deemed a global pandemic and resulted in the banning of all things swine related, which lasted about two hours. Uh, June 25th, <laughs> the death of American pop star Michael Jackson triggers an outpouring of worldwide grief. Online reactions to the event cripple several major websites and services as the abundance of people accessing the web addresses pushes internet traffic to unprecedented and historic levels. On the plus side, 13-year-old boys did sleep a lot easier that night. Um, <sighs> September 14th, Patrick Swayze dies after watching his acting in Dirty Dancing 2, Havana Nights. September 21st, China becomes the first country to succeed a completed clinical trial by a company for the H1N1 vaccine in the world during the swine flu pandemic. China, however, remains the last country to introduce silverware to the public as they are adamant about the chopstick. Uh, August 6th, J director John Hughes dies mm. after watching Home Alone 3. <laughs> so, October 1st, paleontologists oh. announced the discovery of the Ardipithecus remedus fossil skeleton, deeming it the oldest remains of a human ancestor yet found, not including the rotting corpse of Michael Jackson. Oh, God. <laughs> October 20th, WikiLeaks leaked the membership listing of radical political groups, the British National Party, and Avon salespeople. <laughs> December 16th, astronomers discover GJ1214b, the first known exoplanet on the which water could exist. It was originally going to be called Potential Water World, but NASA didn't want to associate their newfound planet with that dumpster fire of a film. And that will do it for our timeline of 2009. Um, well done. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very nice. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, I forgot John Hughes died. Um, I, I, for some reason, I thought he was still alive. I don't know. I remember Patrick Swayze <sighs> dying. Oh, and mm -hmm. Farrah Fawcett also died the same day Michael Jackson did, and that completely gets buried because it's Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember that. Mention it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I yeah. buried her again, but then I brought her back. <laughs> I dug her up, and I was like, no, look, <laughs> here she is. <laughs> I'm trying to think of John Hughes movies. I can't think of any. Oh, Home Alone, uh, 16 oh, Candles. I thought Home Alone was Chris Columbus. Yeah, I thought so, too. Uh, maybe he was a producer. Well, 16 Candles, <clears throat> that's John Hughes. Okay um breakfast club is john hughes oh, uh, right, saint right. elmo's fire don't you forget um, about him yeah i did <laughs> oh, uh no. was it ferris bueller as well i think that so. sounds right yeah 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 so pretty in pink breakfast oh club. uncle buck Those kind of movies uncle buck with john candy uncle buck. okay Weird yeah. science yeah that's a good one oh, yeah okay but john hughes I, if he wasn't the director for the first one for home alone yeah he was certainly like the producer a producer the yeah producer, like the one who wrote like the script or something. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Now that you mentioned that, I think he did write it, yeah. but yeah, Chris Columbus directed it. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. I'm going to miss North Korea. Um, oh, hopefully they there. do something in the nineties that I can talk to them about. Yeah. You know, if North Korea was the world that I, you know, say it is in this timeline, it's the wackiest fucking place on earth. Oh God. Between having like a orgy mountain and like macaroni art george bush cutouts and stuff like that yeah, mm. what, yeah all what of which place. are true all of which are true by the way yes, yes of absolutely course. yeah uh that's that's a north korea i can get behind all right guys we <laughs> will now move to the uh 
the entertainment section of 2009, and we will get to the top 10 movies in terms of gross of the year 2009. And uh, number 10 is uh, The Hangover. You guys remember that movie, The Hangover? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We all saw The Hangover, right? You have any favorite parts sure. from The Hangover? Something that yeah, yeah, stuck out to you? Um, I, I really like the Zach Galifianakis character. Yeah, uh, I thought he was pretty funny, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah uh, it, it, that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> <laughs> like is it Mike? Is it Mike, Mike Tyson in there? Right? Yes. Yeah. And it yeah. just punches punches out Zach Galifianakis <laughs> to that yeah. to um in the air tonight by Phil Collins. Yep. Right? Just like the drums. Yeah. Punches him. That's the only thing I really remember. Yeah. Ed Helms is like, you still got it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I remember watching that movie and not expecting much, but coming away pleasantly surprised. I thought it was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, like, you know, there's a little, there was the Asian fellow who was like naked in the trunk and oh, like yeah. jumped out. Uh, there's just like, it, everything just gets crazier and crazier. And I think one of the things for, for me, especially at the end of the movie, when they get the camera and they look back at all the pictures and while the credits are rolling, it shows like pictures of what's going on. All those were ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's right. That was like the thing that was like, Oh my God. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Uh, and then I they made like this, that. then they made a sequel and uh, just watch the hangover. You get it. Yeah. That would be my, my thing. Um, uh, number nine we'll get to uh, was angels and demons. Uh, not the sequel to the Da Vinci code, but just another book in Dan Brown using the same character, kind of like Jack Ryan. Okay. Um, for oh god clancy books i believe they are yeah right um never saw it didn't read the book um don't have much to say about it other than it has uh, tom hanks yeah. again yeah playing the same character right yep it's kind of the same mm-hmm. shared universe or whatever yeah uh, is... did, i remember i watched the da vinci code and i just thought i wasted my time because what the hell was <laughs> even the point? what was even the point of that movie mm-hmm yeah, you know. Uh, so yeah, I, I agree. No, I I read most of the book. Uh, I just uh, the story sucked, and I just kind of gave up. The only thing I found interesting were the was the symbology, you know, all the information about that, the symbols and stuff. But uh, mm-hmm. number uh, number eight was Sherlock Holmes, the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes. Um, I heard that was really bad. I never watched it, but I heard it wasn't uh, any good. Discombobulate. Right. I, I, from, yeah, from that, I, right. I watched it once and I remember thinking I've never known Sherlock Holmes to be a superior fighter, like a martial arts master. And so it kind of just, you know, I don't know. From that part, it, it kind of lost me. Um, right. Jude Law well, as Watson. This ain't um, your parents, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> they had to add action to all that. Yeah. Did you see it, Baller? Did you ever watch the Sherlock Holmes movie? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? I mean, it wasn't god awful, but <laughs> it's worth a watch at least. It's worth a watch. I mean, the regular person's gonna like that movie. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, huh? Joe Joe Schmo will like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got yeah. it's got enough action and what yeah. what whatever else. <laughs> right, Joe Joe Schmo would also like Fast Nine as well. So of course, <laughs> yeah, doesn't have much of a. Uh, doesn't really hold much so uh, we get, uh, <laughs> number seven uh we've got the twilight saga new moon which i believe mm. is the second movie in that uh series uh, hmm. i never saw it didn't want to see it not my uh i'm not the demographic no it's not right. for me i'm pretty sure, sure uh, i watched it I watched it with a, a commentary oh nice of uh you know another podcast making fun right. of it of course that'd be you cool know, to pretend pretending i have friends you know right 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 <laughs> you're like laughing looking around i'm laughing no with there. them and like oh and just, they're just voices yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what a podcast is yeah. right i guess so. yeah. someone's listening to us right now and just a single tear coming down their face <laughs> cool. uh, next we've got um the movie up pixar's up came out mm-hmm. it was uh I think it's number six. Yeah. Um, first 10, 15 minutes of that movie are fantastic. Maybe the most, I, that, that might be the best 15 minutes of animation ever. It's crazy good. Um, mm-hmm. The rest of the movie, I just, you know, it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's a Pixar movie. 
Mm-hmm. It's yeah. very long. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. very long after that. Yeah. There's so much is told and experienced in that 15 minutes. The rest of the movie kind of feels like it's still going on. I thought we were done here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right. Well, then you get to feel the pain of the old man. That's like, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. How long is the movie? I wonder. Like two hours. Probably. I don't know. We got, all right, number five. <laughs> The uh, fifth highest grossing movie of the year 2009 is uh, 2012. 2012. Great Ooh. movie. The, uh, Didn't that John Apoc- Cusack? Yeah, the yes. apocalyptic oh, Mayans. I watched that movie a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is fucking awesome. Uh, Which, just a thousand and twelve more to go. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Bring on the apocalypse. I think that's what that's about. Um <laughs> <laughs> did you uh do you have a favorite part for that movie ball there what did you like about it uh just the uh craziness of everything yeah and i don't know like if that would have happened none of that would have actually happened but uh <laughs> yeah it was it was interesting to see it's like an, an exciting action-packed film yeah that was fun to watch when you're still yeah, in like, your mind you just <laughs> It was cool to see like the uh, the effects they've been making. And they're doing I, they were doing better and better every single year. Like right. it just it was awesome for the time at least. Sure. Like like I think the the one you could compare it to is like the day after tomorrow. Like from then right. from that the, to that, you know how much the effect how much more the effects have right. been right altered and been better. I mean like improved. Yeah. They're not great movies by any means, but no. <laughs> just to see the special effects in general uh, yeah, progressing like is fun. Roland Emmerich's last great movie was Independence Day, the first one, mm. and they still oh, use right. yeah. and and yeah, uh, it's that it movie is fucking good. Fucking rules. I, I mean, I, I used to really like it, but I don't know. As the oh, years gone by, I, that movie really just sucks. I mean, I I I, I hate it. I hate it. It's stupid. Independence stupid Day. Stuff. Yeah, it, yeah. It's not the first good. one. The first one, yeah. The documentary, Independence Day. Huh? <laughs> what? The it's documentary. documentary. It's, a, it's a documentary, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you don't. That get... that, that, you don't remember 1996, the alien invasion, and yeah, and Jeff Goldblum and Will Smith had to save <laughs> yeah. us all. Yeah. No, no, no. That no. movie. Okay. <laughs> That's I remember. remember. No, I remember that guy that that <laughs> could fly like a uh, a crop duster, <laughs> and uh, didn't oh, Randy know he Quaid. Had, yeah. yeah, had no idea he had. Uh, you know the experience of flying what was it like an f-15 f-16 <laughs> uh apparently he just knew how to fly it i mean it didn't take long to train him apparently you know uh and mm-hmm. then i don't know Got just... the same stick oh yeah wow. all planes are the same man you just yeah you autopilot grab the stick autopilot um now yeah. uh, here's my thing with <laughs> independence day i'm with you nick <laughs> Uh, I used to like it when I was younger and then I watched it when I got older and I noticed that the budget for that movie, the best thing about that movie are the explosions Mm -hmm. and everything that was good about that movie went into those explosions, the blowing up of the White House and New York City and stuff like that. (laughs) It looks really good. If you look at the other special effects in the movie, Mm -hmm. they don't compare. And in fact, they look actually kind of cheap. Now there's a a scene in specific specific i'm going to talk about where they blow up i'm pretty sure it's either it might be washington dc it might be when they blow up the white house it might be new york i don't remember right but will smith's wife is trapped and she like traps herself in like a, a closet underneath a bridge i believe that's right? in new york is it yeah. new york okay and yeah. the, the, their yeah. dog is running their golden lab mm-hmm. is running right towards, and then it fucking jumps it jumps the fire it jumps and the fire <laughs> behind it is so fucking cheap looking yeah. Yeah. so Boomer. bad um and just the whole thing it just it it was a blockbuster film for the oh, for this ha uh, you know fourth of july so it does what uh, it's supposed to yeah right i um, guess so but it doesn't really hold it's, up if, if anything it's no. just nostalgia it is every reason yeah, why you right. watch it we get you um, know that yeah that speech they call that the, the rose rose colored glasses or something yeah yeah exactly you know um but we'll move on here now to the number four top grossing movie 2009 transformers revenge of the fallen i believe that was the sequel to the first Transformers movie. I was gonna say we haven't talked about Transformers since the first one, so I think that's the second one. Anyway, that's cool. I, I didn't really watch. I think I watched it once. There are a couple robots. 
uh in disguise but they're robots all the same mm. um but they uh <laughs> they were like um <laughs> let's just say more ethnic than the other robots that came across as blatantly racist and oh, the movie got oh. like panned for that um right i didn't care I, I didn't think of it when i watched it all i could think about was how bad of a movie this was in general you know it, right yeah you know, but you know it is what it is uh number three uh ice age dawn of the dinosaurs was a number three highest grossing film didn't watch it um you know it's still going i think they're still making ice age movies i really do um i had to watch all of them. ray romano yeah uh, I think you had to watch all of them you had to watch all of them yeah. coming at you at gunpoint watch, well, the, yeah. <laughs> watch ice age i had to watch kids and stuff yep ah uh, yeah see that's what yeah, i'm saying yeah. baller that's exactly kids. what i'm saying <clears throat> yeah kids love stupid shit like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, I mean, like, like the movie Up or like Cars or something like that. Ice Age. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're not bad movies, you know, but they're just they're they're for kids and they're there just to distract right. the children. They're there for the children. Um, yeah. uh, number two, uh, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, uh, the highest grossing Ooh. film of the year, two thousand nine. Is that the one with Robert Pattinson? Is that the one where he gets uh, he nice. bites the dust? Bad. Uh, well, he or was at the Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire. That's the Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire. Yeah. What's Half Blood Prince? What the hell happens in that one? I don't remember um, that one. I'm pretty sure that's when. Uh, uh, fuck. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the edge Half of my Blood seat. Blood Prince. I don't. I don't remember. I mean, I've I've only seen the movie once, and I haven't read the books. So. Yeah, I'm the yeah. I, oh, I don't. The uh, book. The book. Uh, Basilisk, I think. Maybe. The basilisk yeah. they have to get like a tooth yeah and they kill um oh is half. that when they're is that when they're starting to destroy like he gets really good stuff? at potions and oh it's... okay so yeah. and then this the next movie after that would be the deathly hollows right um oh, no. pos- well i think the next one would be the goblet of fire no 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 way half blood half blood prince came after goblet of fire Really? Yeah, got, yeah yeah is this the Jeez. one where dumbledore dies at the end no i think i don't know i don't know i think that spoiler might be the last last one spoiler yeah alert. i mean well oh, no i think that's a huge one <laughs> so they, they don't they, they won't know i don't i don't remember there's an even bigger spoiler that is yeah so yeah. all right all this time all right um yeah. we'll move to the top movie any Always. guesses? Any guesses? <laughs> Don't look it up. Just any guesses off the top of your head. What you think the top movie of two thousand nine? Yeah, give me a top guess, guys. Top, top movie of two thousand nine. Top movie of grossing two thousand nine. Don't know. I couldn't tell you a movie that came out in two thousand nine. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Baller, baller. You're, uh, you're the last hope for humanity. Throw out a movie. No, any movie, baller. I, I, guess I any movie. I don't got one. <sighs> <laughs> We're all doomed. All right. Any movie. Avatar, fellas. Avatar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yep. Seriously? Man, that was that. That was so long ago. There's a sequel yeah. coming out soon. Yeah. yeah. Finally. <laughs> see, that's another one right there. Like the effects. Uh, oh yeah. If I go see this in IMAX, I'm probably gonna like feel like feel like I'm gonna throw up or something. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the intended effect yeah. that james cameron wants they give you a barf bag right. and a 3d glasses you're all good right. it looks gonna look so good you're gonna throw up <laughs> melt your face and puke out your guts yep. man this is a movie yeah. Whoa. i also have yeah. anxiety of the ocean so no <laughs> maybe you shouldn't see this movie right. Right. how do you feel yeah. about the movie open water i bet you that's terrifying yeah <laughs> well i mean in a in a general sense that movie is terrifying because mm-hmm. it sucks yeah <laughs> um well, avatar i saw it i think twice in theaters in the imax 3d um about four hours long it's essentially what is it um dances with wolves uh right the movie dinosaur or something like that pocahontas pocahontas it's it's, right. it's, it's that movie um it, the the main bad guy of the movie is this over the top marine, that's just like a, <laughs> yeah. a stereotype of every over the top marine. It, it right. just I didn't think it was a particularly good movie. I actually think it's one of Jim, James Cameron's worst movies that he's ever done. I agree. And uh, yeah. 
that's what he's set his sights on now for the next like five movies or Avatar movies. So what's, and, unless what's... he's got something borderline miraculous uh, coming out mm-hmm. his ass, uh, I don't see it. What are you saying, Brad? Oh, it's just Avatar. It was. It, it's like one of the highest grossing movies of all time. It isn't is. It? It's the highest grossing film of Yet, all time. How come there's like no cultural? You know, like with Star Wars, there's Star Wars shit all the time. Oh, that's true. I, there, there's yeah. no Avatar anything all the time, you know? Right. Um, yeah. Or, that know, is true. Titanic like, was the highest grossing film of all time. Yeah. And exactly, that way had a bunch but, of Titanic shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And now this new Avatar is probably going to be the highest grossing movie ever. <laughs> yeah. And no one's going to right. give a shit. Like, everyone's well, going to see it and then no one's going to care. <laughs> it might be because of just the different times that we were in. Mm-hmm. You know, like in comparison to when Star Wars came out. Oh, I'm going to say, and if you're going by ticket sales and how many that would be considering that price of a ticket was like, you know, 10 cents when Gone with the Wind came out. Gone with the Wind in terms of ticket sales, I think was the highest. And then Star Wars, I think, took it. But I think it's still Star Wars and Gone with the Wind in terms mm-hmm. of ticket sales. Yeah. Um, yeah it's but still, just... Avatar was gigantic. Oh, yeah. And yet yeah. there's like no residual cultural stuff with avatar you know maybe if he had made a sequel because i mean you know titanic is not a sequel <laughs> you know well, what happens you That's know what true. happens uh well, and with star true. wars they had a sequel in three years later 80 and yeah, then again true. in three years later yeah, and i think yeah. with star wars george lucas like made an effort to produce toys and right. merchandise right i, yeah. I don't think exactly. uh, i don't think jimmy cameron did that <laughs> jimmy cameron right when was Titanic 2 made? Yeah. yeah I think... There is a Titanic There two, is a Titanic It has nothing, nothing to do with the first one. They're like, just dig Jack's corpse out of the water. Just double the size and double the double the pay. That's right. <laughs> That's the tagline for it, I think. Double the size and double the pain. Double the vomit. Double... Yeah. Oh, you'll puke. Uh... It's in 6D. You don't know where the fuck you are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We go to personal film selections of 2009. Um, 2009 is an interesting year, honestly, guys, because uh, there isn't a lot of great, really anything. So uh, there are a couple. So but personal film selections, 2009, Inglorious Bastards. First one. That's my, that's a oh, choice. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's um, an excellent movie. Yeah. Um, Zombieland. I guess I saw that movie once. It wasn't bad. Uh, I just don't really give a fuck about zombies. I'm so zombied out, and this is this is mm-hmm. well before The Walking Dead. Um, I think that was when I was getting back into zombies. Did you like Zombieland, Buller? It's not a bad movie. I liked it. I thought it was good. That Bill Murray's cameo was funny <laughs> as hell. Yeah, that was. Pretty yeah, good. I, I thought it was kind of. It was alright. Yeah. Um. Uh, another selection i remember i've only seen this movie maybe once or twice but i didn't mind it i mean this is the barometer this is the the, the you know the bar here i have for movies for 2009 because there were so few i love you man um uh, with slapa de bass you know and rush oh, a yeah. lot a lot of rush yeah that's songs. Exactly. never that i never good. watched it i thought it was it's, I thought, good. it's good to watch once you know mm-hmm. you know it's it's not like, you know, it's I love you, man, day, or we're going to watch this. We got to, you know, mm-hmm. make it. No, just it's good one time. Uh, another one, we got 500 Days of Summer. I didn't think it was a bad little rom-com never, sort never of deal. Seen it. Um, I've seen that. Jordan, Jordan, uh, Jordan, what is his name? Gordon Joseph Levitt. Levitt I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, that guy, Tommy. Joey Jojo Jr. Joey Jojo Jr. Jojo Jr. <laughs> the worst name I ever heard. <laughs> Joey Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, Tommy from Third Rock from the Sun, and right, uh, right, right, right. Uh, that um, the girl with the hairy armpits from New Guy, uh, Five Hundred Days of Summer. Um, uh, uh, a serious man. That's another movie I picked. Uh, that's a Coen Brothers film. Oh yeah, that's a good oh, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like sure. that one that's a, a good one. Yeah, um, it stars. Uh, if you ever seen Boardwalk, can't think of the guy's name, but he's from Boardwalk Empire. He's an excellent, excellent actor. He was in Dope Sick. Mm-hmm. A uh, Hulu oh, original yeah. that came out this past year about the oh, opioid yeah. crisis, um, which you know I might, we might get into that at some point on this podcast, but uh, for sure it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's the Coen mm-hmm. Brothers. So, right. Um, another movie I got Extract. Um, Jason Bateman, uh, Mila Kunis, uh, 
it's okay it's not bad it's a good for one watch um uh probably one of my favorite comic book movies um ever made uh watchmen watchmen came out in 2009 very graphic very gory um great soundtrack great story too oh yeah um, I, saw, I saw that in theaters yeah I don't know if the only thing i remember is seeing uh well who is the blue guy dr manhattan yeah no you saw it with me and uh oh did i okay yeah you saw it with me and uh uh meese okay it was pretty sure. of us? yeah and i said meese. uh yeah i know because <laughs> just we're just, just the only thing i the only thing i remember <laughs> is seeing dr manhattan's dick yeah it's like oh well look at there floppy dick i think it's the first time i ever saw yeah. a floppy dick on don't you on remember the big screen well yeah don't you remember what meester said about that because he said it was matt damon that was playing uh <laughs> Uh, fuck. What's it, Mister Doctor Doctor Manhattan? He said, yeah. "Matt Damon." Matt, I think Matt Damon's playing Doctor Manhattan, and I said, uh. "That's not Matt Damon. I've seen his dick, and he died." <laughs> <laughs> like he was like, <laughs> "Oh, oh, fucking Mace. Um, but yeah, we saw that in theaters. Um, I liked it. I, I thought it was really good. It's one of my favorite comic book movies. You've never seen it, uh, The Watchmen. Yeah, um, and that was a Zack Snyder movie too, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, if you like the boys, watch The Watchmen. Um, well, who watches the Watchmen? That's actually is, if is you don't know if you're question? being if you're being uh, uh, cheeky, I like it. Um, yeah. But yes. Okay. Yeah. Who watches the Watchmen? <laughs> uh, and the last movie for uh, 2009 are my personal selections: uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, oh, that's, that's, oh that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a lovely Warmth. movie. Yeah, so good. Did you? I have it? it on DVD. Did you watch that, Baller? I have it on Blu-ray. I have no idea oh, what that is. I have it on uh, oh, no. eight track. Whoa, I have it on Betamax. <laughs> Shit. I have it on Cave Wall. We do it in like a... <laughs> each, each frame is drawn up on the wall. If you walk really past, really fast past <laughs> it, it, yeah, it moves. Yep. Uh, you've never seen that movie though, Baller? Fantastic Mr. Fox? It's so. a Wes Anderson film. If you like Wes Anderson films, you mm-hmm. know who that is. You'll like that. It's got his charm, you know. Very good. Uh, now we'll move on to worst movies of 2009. Um, I think I know where you're going with this. Here we go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you do. Because uh, well, if you I, have I a movie. Up, then... I looked up 2009 movies because you were saying how there was nothing good. And I, I I see quite a few good ones that I liked at least. But then there's a very bad one. Uh, it's like, uh, that's probably on your list. We'll see here. Uh, but we will, yeah. I'm interested to hear what you think uh, for good movies. We'll get to my worst movies and we'll go back. We'll start it. Okay. For worst oh, movies... yeah. I'll go through some of them. Okay. Worst movies. Uh, Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li. Uh, fucking shitty ass movie. Um, <laughs> Street Fighter. It's Street Fighter name alone. And that's it. Um, it's a really, really awful movie. Um, next movie, uh, Dragon Ball Evolution. I saw that once at someone's house it was the worst fucking thing i've ever seen in my life it's got uh, uh what's this from shameless it's got emmy rossum and it's got like the guy she's dating in the first couple of years he's grogu and she's like some other chick and it's just it's so ridiculous and just it's just awful uh, yeah. another movie i've got uh for worst movies of 2009 alvin and the chipmunks the squeakle isn't uh, uh, david cross oh, in that no. though oh yeah he, he knows they're shitty movies <laughs> he's he's yeah. well aware yeah, yeah, he's got to get a paycheck. That's exactly what he says. They got a paycheck. You know? Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. that's... Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping that, that he would make him better somehow. No. Uh, well, it's... It, it's Yeah. It's David Cross. He basically, it's like the same type of character, uh, sort of, as a, like, a, what's that movie called? Small Soldiers from, like, yes. the 90s. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, okay. Okay, so... Um, and here's another one I'm picking just simply because it, it restarted this, this God awful franchise that continues to this day and will not quit. Even when one of its fucking members dies, they just keep going <laughs> and that's Lord. fast and furious, oh, fast yeah. and furious. This is the start of the rebranding and the re we're no longer stealing radios. You know, we're stealing government secrets from top secret organizations mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. flying cars in space. Hell yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Turbo and Nas. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, got two more mm. movies now. Uh, this one is I've never mentioned any of his movies, um, even though they deserve to be on the list every year. Uh, this one I'm going with um, Medea Goes to Jail. Medea Goes to Jail. Mm. Um, that is. God I, damn it. 
<laughs> Ernest goes to jail is gold. This I don't know yeah. what the hell's going on yes. here. Um, <laughs> that's why I said Medea. That whole character kind of reminds me of Ernest in a way. He's just random. He just dresses up and. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, was Ernest goes to jail gold or is it again? It's just nostalgia because. Oh no! It's a terrible really, movie. Because it's no, awful. It's, and no, it's it's, it's a terrible it's just, movie. It's probably just as awful as uh, goes to jail, but it's probably probably just good to us because we we grew up with it you know yeah for sure um but i'm not gonna make the same mistake twice no absolutely absolutely go ahead baller the guy needs to retire (laughs) (laughs) well i think they have a funeral for at some point here soon yeah all right yeah Yeah. Um, (laughs) all right we got my last pick for worst movie of 2009 old dogs with john travolta and robin williams where they somehow get two kids that they have to look after and they're just two old guys that never had kids and it's horrible what? and it's Oh, I'm I'm slapping my knee already. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a <laughs> wacky movie. Um Jesus. It's really it's really bad. Um but yeah, go ahead Ball, uh, not Ball, uh, Brad. Or you... Oh, so what I thought you were going to say for worst movie of 2009 was uh The Human Centipede. Oh god! Which came oh. up, which came up for 2009, but mm. apparently it was released in the United States in 2010. Oh okay. Mm. I'm so. not sure how Google does the uh, the years here, but uh, the road with uh, Aragorn. Oh, is that? I missed that. That's uh, yeah. That's 2009. It says. Oh my god! Yeah, so that, no, that's absolutely a good the road. One. Absolutely yeah. the road. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, the road. road. Uh, Let's see. Oh, oh be- best best worst movie that documentary about uh, oh, Troll, Troll 2. 2? I got a that's buddy that's in that movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about en- Enter the Void? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a great one too. Did yeah. that come out in two thousand nine? Yep. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Uh, Terminator <laughs> Salvation. That's a shitty movie from two thousand nine. Yeah. yeah, it is. Um, Mr. Okay, nobody? then th- there was twenty. Yeah, Mr. Nobody is bad too. Uh, 2012, yeah, and uh, Knowing with Nicolas Cage, kind Fuck, of the same no, movie. No, you're right. I wow. forgot to write that down. No, I forgot to write the, that down. I think that they must have been like sister movies or something. Yeah. No, yeah, I was going to write that down. And then there was one, one more. Oh, yeah, Drag Me to Hell is good. Um, yeah. And Antichrist, or did I mention that already? No, no I didn't. No. Obama was La- talked about earlier, but no, not in terms of movies. Antichrist, the uh, Lars von Trier really fucked up weird movie. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, no, but you're right. So yeah, there, there, there's some there's, there's some random good. I ones. want to talk about the road. There is that scene that is so fucking. Oh god, it's like the best in the whole movie. It's when they're in that cannibal house and they're upstairs, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he's got the gun in his kid's mouth because he'd rather shoot his kid than have his kid go through that. And that is like the craziest. What a movie! No, honestly, oh, well, the, the road. Did he like great. open? He like opened a latch, and there was a bunch of like really like well, skinny mm-hmm. like emaciated people that yep. they were going to eat later basically yep. yep yeah that movie yeah that's that's it's some like, good post-apocalyptic <laughs> shit i think it's like a movie you can only watch once really i mean you can watch it again but god it's it's a rough one to get through it's not an easy sit and watch it's just not at least not for right. me I, don't, I think i actually never finished this movie I, I i remember watching it but i don't remember what happens um i should probably give it another shot yeah it's it's i mean just at least one time um, yeah, and then you know, just to make yourself feel better, old dogs probably to wash that down. Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, like I'm, ta- like I'm taking that... a tequila shot. I don't think the road is that bad. You... No, a- no, anti antichrist uh... is way worse. Uh, that's a hard one to get through because it's so fucking weird. I can't even really get into it. <laughs> but you know, I'm into the really messed up movies. So mm. nobody listen to me. <laughs> Well, you don't like Tusk, so... Uh, Don't stop. Stop talking about that movie. It does not exist. All right. Um, We are now moved to top albums in terms of gross, 2009. Uh, Number 10, uh, Black Eyed Peas, The End, E... Well, you know, E-N-D. I I think it was The End. I hope it was The End. I don't know, but I think they made another album, so they're liars, and, uh, you know... A terrible album, terrible band. The torture never ends. Yeah, that <laughs> with the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> uh, number nine, we had Lady Gaga had finally broke out, and she's the fame. That album, that album oh, came yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Um, number eight, we had Kanye West with 808s and Heartbreak. Um, I hear that's a a phenomenal album. 
I, and uh, I get it. And uh, I'm right there with you. Uh, sound didn't sound very good to me. Uh, I, I don't see the appeal. I just don't. Uh, yeah, I, I, I because I know who's rapping, and it's just like God. This guy's such a <laughs> what a waste of space. <laughs> What a waste of space. I just don't like, I hate the tone of his voice when he's oh. rapping. I just can't, he sounds, you know, like mentally challenged or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, I no. don't get it. Um, and I never will. Uh, next, we got Britney Spears Circus. Um, and we've got Eminem, Eminem with Relapse. Um, that's another one. Uh, Jay-Z with The Blueprint 3. Uh, then we had the Twilight soundtrack for number four, top highest cool. grossing albums of 2009. Uh, number three was Nickelback's Dark Horse. Um, I think uh, I think that album that album was one that followed up the Rockstar album, and I'm pretty sure it has that song that's like i think it's well it's it's misogynistic but it's like rapey too it's really fucking oh, weird god oh, yeah, yeah. What? he's like i like your pants around your feet i like you that's, staring up at me you know that's all this yeah, stuff. yeah and that's nickelback yes. oh my god yeah. dude yeah yeah, yeah. the no same they parents get... nickelback no wonder they get so... <laughs> <laughs> no, no wonder they, they get so much hate i just hated them because they just sucked <laughs> but god damn i didn't know that mm-hmm uh, number two, we've got Beyonce with I Am Sasha Fierce. And number one album of 2009. Any guesses? Any guesses, fellas? Oh, 2009. I don't know. I was far away from it at the time, so I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna guess it's like a uh, a Now album. Oh, or, or no, American now that's Idol. That's what I call music American Idol album. soundtrack or something. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You said American Idol soundtrack? Yeah, sure. Baller, you got to guess. Now, American Idol soundtrack, and what? Lady Gaga. Another Lady Gaga album? I thought She that... had two albums in 2009. That would be... <laughs> she was really working hard that huh. year. Um, Taylor Swift, Fearless. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, Tay-Tay. <laughs> Tay-Tay. Um, yeah, Taylor Swift's Fearless. This is the year she broke out. If you If you remember, this is the year... Um, where the MTV Music Awards were held. I don't know if it was this year, if it was like 2010, like oh, the, where yeah. she's up for like VMA of the year or something, and uh, or VMA artist, right? Kanye interrupts her, Taylor Swift speech and all that, uh, right? You remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Saying Beyonce had the best video of the year. Yep. Beyonce. <laughs> Wait, this the this best is... in the fucking world. <laughs> this was 2009 that this happened no i think it was 2010 but this was the start Still of all the holy shit yeah it could have been 2000 that long ago yeah 2010 is that uh hey i'm gonna let you finish yeah that was that long ago <laughs> like, beyonce had the greatest oh, God. of all time all time and then beyonce's like who the fuck i didn't say i didn't tell him to do this what the hell is going on this yeah, guy's it, lost his mind it was the 2009 mtv musical award yeah i thought it happened like yeah. two years ago no nope. Uh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember that because Kanye West went on Jay Leno. And Kanye West's mom had just passed away, or something like that. Jay Leno was like, "What would your What would your mom think about what you did?" And he's oh, just man. like sat there, in, like silence. And I'm just like, "This is awkward <laughs> as hell, man." You know, he's like, "I don't know. She probably wouldn't be too happy." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, great, great show, Jay. Good stuff, Eesh. man. Um, yeah, it's, uh, and the president Obama called him a jackass. He's like, <laughs> she yeah. seems like a nice girl. She's up there to get her reward. Uh, he just, he's, the guy's a jackass. And, uh, <laughs> and that pretty much made right. Kanye West be like, fuck that. I'm a Republican now. And I will yeah. vote for the Donald Trump. Right. You know, that pretty much it. My personal pick for albums of 2009, um, none, you heard me, none. There are none. There isn't a single album oh, bullshit. that I can give for me that I've listened to that I okay. can say that I suggest this album. There isn't a single one that I've listened uh -huh. to that I can suggest. None. Oh, okay. There isn't necessarily like I guarantee there's good albums from 2009. I don't know what they are. Um, I'd say I uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix. For, yes, uh, Phoenix. I see that. Uh huh. That's a good one. Uh, Crack the Sky by Mastodon, kind of like a prog 
prog rock metal album. Very good. Right. Um, 21st Century Breakdown by Green Day, huh? Hmm. Mm. Didn't I mean, pick that. Kinda... Didn't pick that. Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> the, blue, the Blue Record by Baroness is pretty good. We don't um, dig too deep because you're going to get into my worst albums here. Or maybe we'll go, we'll go through the worst albums. We'll swing no, back. No, you're not going to pick anything that I say that's going to be the worst album. We'll see. I, I listen to nothing but good music. Well, worst album for me, at least one of them. We've mm-hmm. got Papa Roach with Metamorphosis. <laughs> Oh, shit. God damn it. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, I don't know an al- a song off that album, but I just know it's shit. So there it is. <laughs> worst album. Um, one of the worst albums of 2009. Another one we've got. Sure. I've got um, Owl City, Ocean Eyes. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's that fucking album with the uh, Firefly song. You know oh, what I'm yeah, talking about? I hate that song, man. Baller, you know that song? Yep. I still play it on the fucking radio, man. <laughs> Yeah, God, sure damn do. it. How does it go again? I can't remember, Baller. <laughs> fire in the sky. <laughs> mm. No, I think that's a different that's song. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Fire in the sky. It's like smoke on the water. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what, how does that song go? I can't think. You say, cannot uh, believe your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Million fireflies. It reminds yeah. me of a uh, uh, what's that guy's name from? I don't know the name. Uh, what's the name? The band uh, Death Cab for Cutie. It reminds me. Oh, of, yeah. It sounds just like yeah. the lead singer from Death Cab for Cutie. Right, right. Oh God, it's like a Nintendo. Yeah. Is this actually? I will. <laughs> wonder if this will be recorded. And then we'll. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, we'll you get, probably we'll get don't docked. Wanna, we'll get docked. Wanna, yeah. We'll get docked. We'll definitely get docked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God we damn it, I hate this stupid shit. Yeah. shit God, sucks. he does sound a lot like the guy from Death Cab. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I thought it was Death Cab, and I was like, God, did they really drop off this bad? And oh no, it's not even them. Good. Okay. Um, another worst albums of the year. We've got the Jonas Brothers, Lines, Vines, and Trying Times. <laughs> oh, um, hell yeah. Out of everybody on this podcast right now, only uh-huh. one of us has seen them live. That's right. How are they, Nick? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. You know what? That's that's okay, Nick, because I saw Nickelback live a while back. Right. Well, I'd have to yeah. say it was probably a better show. I had a. They, they a were show. very good live, actually. Really? Despite, yeah. Despite me hating their music, they played it very well. It was very. It was just very well done. Interesting. So yeah. yeah. Then yeah. Then yeah. Okay. You probably had a better show. I'd rather be at that show. Yeah, that's it, a. It was kind yeah. of fun, actually. Did you have to go to that, or just because you were so young, mom wouldn't leave you at home? Pretty much. Well, see, that's the thing is that I was hanging out with some people, mm-hmm. you know, like staying over places that she probably didn't want me to stay, you know, and just uh, was having me go with her. Gotcha. And it was had a mix of that too. Like, I was underage too, still at that time, and yeah, I'm just kind of forced to go, in a sense, <laughs> and uh. Did you at least did you did you laugh at Elle or did you like oh this is kind of ridiculous? Oh yeah, it was eh. completely it was eh. it was pretty funny, but I just couldn't enjoy it. I just enjoyed it on my own and like yeah. the fun the fact in that. Yeah. But a lot of the time, I just kind of walked around the arena <laughs> as the show was going on because I was just bored, and and it all sucked, you know. Yeah. So it's like. Oh yeah. Um, but I, I what I enjoyed the most out of the trip was going to Peoria, Illinois. I never went there before. Oh okay. And yeah. it's a nice little place. Yeah. So. All right, we got one last worst album for 2009, and that is Weezer's Ratitude, uh, which has that one song, Girl, if you want, wondering if I want you to, I want you to song, that, that one song, that's it. And uh, mm-hmm. that's that one, huh? What yeah, now? That, it's like, that, <laughs> that just, that's how I remember it or something like that. It's like, it's just like an acoustic little, it's, it's Weezer, um, but like, you know, it's not a good album. Like, I think I only released that one track. Um, yeah, so that's my worst albums of 2009. Uh, Brad, do you have any to add or? Holy shit. Like worst? Or if you didn't have anything like on standby, that's okay. We could just go right straight to. Well, I mentioned, I mentioned a couple already. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Um, it's not Chinese democracy. It's not sane anger, but they're still pretty bad. Mm. (laughs) Um, all right. We're going to get to top songs of 2009. Uh, number, uh, well, not number one, but a top song of 2009. Boom, boom, pow. By the Black Eyed Peas. 
You guys know that song? Jesus. I know. <laughs> click, click, boom by Saliva. <laughs> click, click, boom. <laughs> click. I don't know. <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> boom, pow, or whatever. Whatever He's you like, said. Gonna get that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I didn't that. know that was oh, my song. Yeah. Yeah. I know that one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know the click, click, boom was by Saliva. I thought yeah, that was. I uh, Pod? I thought that was Pod. Yeah, I thought that yeah. was POD. We're going no, down with the baby, y'all. Click, click, boom, boom. So lame, dude. It's so lame. So awesome. Such a dude. good song. Um, next one we've got, uh, uh, speaking of good songs, we've got <laughs> Poker Face by Lady Gaga. It's uh, so another my, top my song. Mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Lady Gaga with another one, Just Dance. Lady Gaga featuring Colby Odonis. I don't know why I know all these songs. I, um, I think I was kind of into it at the time. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Le uh, Love Story by Taylor Swift. Um, that's mm. pretty much, I think that's the song that she won for the VMAs and all that stuff. But uh, Right Round by Flo Rida is uh, another one. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you like that one, Bolin? It was a great song. <laughs> Are you bumping the house with that one as well? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how does how does that one go, Baller? Yeah. You know, it says <laughs> it in the name. Yeah, it's like oh, it's, okay. it's basically uh, a spin off. It's the uh, it, you spin yeah. me right round, right round. You know that's all oh, the yeah. dead or alive. Song? Yeah, the dead or alive. That's it. Yeah. 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 That's a good song. Yeah. It, the, but then he flow rides over it. You know, he just he does his oh. thing. Um, we got um. <clears throat> single ladies put a ring on it by beyonce oh yeah Jeez. that was like one of the greatest videos of all time um but you know yeah <laughs> well uh yeah uh and then we got uh heartless by kanye west that's another top song of uh, the year uh. um and we have gives you hell by the all american rejects uh, oh that my came god out. that song yep yep i remember that one yeah yeah gives you hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it yeah, yeah that yeah, it is hell yeah. you know that's what that's really their intention there <laughs> oh god uh we got uh you belong with me by taylor swift that's another oh, one. there's a song yeah i think and i know that one uh... you belong with me <laughs> oh no no i guess you i do not know that fucking song she wears short skirts okay wears right, yeah, i'm good on that man i'm good on that <clears throat> it's a good song yeah very good. She's right. your captain, and I'm on the fucking that? bleachers. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's that, Bullard? You remember that song? You belong with me, Taylor Swift. Was that bumping? Probably not. Definitely not in my house. Not, not in my house. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not under my roof. <laughs> uh, we got another top song of the year. We had "You Found Me" by The Fray. Um, wish I hadn't. Yeah. Uh, you're found me. You're found me. <laughs> uh, that's all I remember about that song. God. Uh, oh, and something about finding God on the corner of something and else. I can't remember what the line is in the song, but I just remember mm -hmm. he starts off with like, I found God on the corner of something and something. And I was like, oh, right. okay. Last well, place you looked. Was gonna, um, you're right. Well, you know, <laughs> then you went to search anymore. But yeah. um, <laughs> were they a Christian band or something? I don't know. I don't remember them being a Christian band or whatever. They, they were just like, like really generic. Yeah, it's just soft rock and so like soft rock. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff you could play at a senior citizen's home at a ten year old's birthday party, and you're safe. Mm -hmm. That's right, right. That, and you're good. Uh, I they were a theme song for Grey's Anatomy. I'm pretty sure. That's right. I remember you saying yeah. that. Yeah, but yeah. I just I didn't know if they were because all the lyrics or whatever. Oh uh, man, we mentioned them in 2005, didn't we? With How to Save a Life. I yeah. remember that one. Yeah. 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 Uh, Here's another top song in 2009 from a band that a lot of some a lot of people liked. I never got into them. I didn't really care. Um, but "Use Somebody" by Kings of Leon. Um, uh huh. I just you know you could use somebody. yeah. I just yeah. Yeah. that song. It's lame, but it, yeah. I don't know. It's then, okay. That "Sex Is on Fire" song. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that one's all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, this next song, I'm gonna. I almost put it in worse. <laughs> In worse, we're like peasants of Leon. The next one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who's Leon? You know, yeah. Who? Yeah. Who gives? Yeah. A, who gives a shit? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this next song uh, for top songs, I uh, I almost put it in worse songs. I feel like Whoa. it's interchangeable. But the thing about it that, that 
the music video who's in the music video who's in the posse of this guy is hilarious because it does not fit at all um and the song is called blame it and it's by jamie fox featuring t Payne. and it's like the blame it on the al 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 alcohol oh song. yeah, uh -huh. yeah okay uh -huh. but in the music video it's got ron howard hanging out with jamie fox uh god somebody else too who doesn't even remotely belong there um old crusty like dudes just like hanging out with uh jamie fox <laughs> blaming it on the alcohol it's just, it's just a weird uh joe pesci someone in that vein it just just you don't expect <laughs> jack nicholson you know. <laughs> right right i don't remember all the actors that are in it but it's it's very strange um well, i think it's supposed to be yeah uh, that's that's what I remember from it. So yeah. I guess so that wait, this song was by Jamie Fox, the yeah. the actor. Yeah. Huh. I never knew he rapped or whatever. I did. Huh. Uh, I think he did like Ray Charles, like. Yeah. And then he like covered all his songs too. That's oh all yeah, yeah, singing. but that that's as an actor. That's like, him not singing. Actual... Huh. Oh. oh well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I did. I didn't know his singing career took off after impersonating <laughs> a dead guy. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all right, and uh, another another song. We only got a couple here. A few left now for top songs of 2009. The Climb by Miley Cyrus. I almost almost put this in worse songs as well. Um, or Why just, not both? Uh, yeah. Uh, it is. It, I mean, let's be honest. It is. It's in both. It's both a top and worst song of 2009. A really bad one. Um, I'm trying to remember the lyrics, but... I don't really care enough to. It's something about climbing mountains and something. You know, it's supposed to be uplifting, but it's just, it's Miley Cyrus. At this point in her career, uh, she's still Hannah Montana from the Disney Channel. So, like, you know, how uplifting can it possibly be? Um, especially, well, I guess if you're a 14-year-old girl, maybe you do. Maybe you like it. I don't know. Uh, another one, uh, Hot and Cold, Katy Perry. Hot. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're hot mm -hmm. and you're cold. Da, da, yeah, yeah. Da, da. In and That's out, a great up and song. down. Wrong when it's right, <laughs> black when it's white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all profound. this profound, yeah, yeah. very incredible mm. stuff. Yeah, it's it's very zen. It's almost like she's like, well, there's hot and there's cold. Fuck, you know, those are opposites. What other things are opposites? Right. Yeah, yeah, Let's exactly. do that. Now, of those opposites, what rhymes? <laughs> Perfect. Let's put it together. Pop. Give me a pop beat. Yeah, We're you're, good. You're so, black and you're white. You're left and you're right. Yeah. Or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm making it up as I go along. It all you're works. up and it's down. Wrong mm -hmm. when it's right. Yeah, it's just this sort of yeah, um, fight breakup, kiss makeup. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And the last song for top songs of two thousand nine, "Don't Trust Me" by Three O Three. I remember some uh, girl I was dating at the time showed me this song, and her first thing she said is, "I'm gonna play you this song, Chris, um, and you're gonna hate it." And she was right. Um, <laughs> I fucking hated this song. And it was like something about tights underneath, black dress, tongue in behind someone's teeth, and the big line, the whoa. one that's supposed to be like a big like a whoa sort of thing, you know, the the catch is uh, oh, no. tell him I'm a vegetarian. Or he says he's got beef. Tell him I'm a vegetarian and I'm not fucking scared of him. And then it busts into the chorus and uh, it's supposed to be that's supposed to be like the big thing. Um and uh it was i was embarrassed i felt second and first hand <laughs> embarrassed. embarrassed i felt every hand of embarrassment one could you feel <laughs> sitting in that car and hoping no one else that knew me would see and hear uh me listening to the song um yes do you guys remember that song i'm assuming you guys do yeah yeah i don't think so don't trust me by 303 I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 don't worry about it. You never knew um, who, okay. who was singing it or anything. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, now you know. It was on the radio. Yep. Yeah. And we will now get to worst songs of 2009. I thought so we already were. It it kind of feels like this, right? this has been straight worst songs. This is all this is, is worst songs. Um, number one, we got uh, the Zach Brown band, Chicken Fried. You remember this fucking awful song? Oh my god. Nope. Chicken that, fried? The that, yeah. cold beer on a Friday night? That yep, bullshit? That, that bullshit. That bullshit. Oh, yeah. it's like a yeah, country song. It's right? like, well, a little bit of chicken fried. Yeah. Cold beer on a Friday night. Oh yeah. <laughs> I heard that at work a couple days ago, actually. <laughs> and my favorite part, again, uh, they're still pandering to the troops. They're still pandering to him. Yeah. Uh -oh. And that, that breakdown where he's just like it's like this little snare drum and it's like <laughs> 
something about to the stars and straps. Just like, I the pledge ones allegiance to the flag. <laughs> so they don't have to, so they didn't have to sacrifice all the so we don't have to sacrifice all things we love. Uh, like a little bit of chicken fried. Yuck. And it's just like everybody's back to hoeing Lord. down. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yes. We did our part to remember our heroes. What's you more know? embarrassing, that song or the 303 one? Good Lord. It, on opposite ends of the spectrum, but equally embarrassing, you know? Equally embarrassing. Sure. That's did... a really great description. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, there's really, yeah, no comparison. They're both awful. Yeah. Uh, another one we've got Justin Bieber, uh, One Time, which is that. I don't know the song. I just know that it's just like one time. It just says one time over and over again. One time, one time. I don't know. Some, I think like Ludacris mm. maybe raps over it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Justin Bieber. He it was breaking out onto the scene in 2009. He was about to take over. And uh, yeah. There you go. Lovely. Um, and somebody named Jeremy, Jeremiah, I guess. I don't know. Birthday uh-huh. Sex. Birthday Sex was the name of his uh-huh. song. Worst song, 2008. Don't yeah. even know that song, but I'm just gonna put it on there. Um, yeah, the Black Eyed Peas. I got a feeling. Uh, I put that on there. It's another worst song. song sounds <laughs> awful, awful, yeah. awful bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I heard that way too many times. Yeah. Baller and I know that firsthand. Baller, yep. why, yeah. how do you guys it. know it? Why'd you have to sing it? Ooh, we had to sing. We were both in choir. Oh, yeah. together. You had to and sing we it? and we had to perform that song. For an <laughs> did audience. you do the? Who did that part? Who did the? Everyone, so, did. Well, everyone, everyone. Oh God. yeah, yeah, we, we, it was terrible. It was bad. Yeah. Oh my God. That sounds awesome. So you guys are like tonight, tonight. <laughs> Muzzle yeah. Talk. Well, you didn't go. I thought you fuck. I thought you went to that. I don't think I did. I could have sworn you did. Wow. I don't recall. Why would you miss that? How I... could you? I remember telling you that we were doing that song. I think you, I had to work. That was. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, Either that, or you you went and you just blocked it from your memory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like so you, I would have recorded. Yeah, exactly. That. I would have recorded. Horrific that. trauma. I would have been the proud parent recording that on my phone or something like that. Like, no, yeah, you, you were job. there, but your right. You were there, but your eyes were like glazed over. And you're just staring <laughs> off the whole time because your brain shut down. <laughs> to save to save yourself did you guys like dance around god i wish i, I wish i would have uh, called off no. i should have called off but... no we no. wouldn't allow that uh... you guys did muzzle top then you guys sang muzzle top is that what you're saying yes yes we did Fuck yeah wow um <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i got a feeling i wish i would have saw that uh i got a feeling it was good i got a feeling you guys need a pat on the back um it was great it was worst song stuff. last one for the year 2009 Miley Cyrus, Party in the USA. Now, this song was my answer to when I was then, like hanging around like uh, dive bars and stuff like that, where um, oh, I'm hearing like a clicking or yeah, I'm hearing something. Yeah, I'm yeah. Hearing someone's scratchy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. Is it baller? Mm. Something going on. <laughs> huh? What? I don't. I don't hear anything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think All it's right. me. No, there yep. it is. There, it, there it, is it is again. There it is again. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it's it is. coming from from Baller. It's coming, it's coming from Baller. Yeah, I think when the sound happens, he lights right. up. Really? Sorry, sorry, but yeah, I think so. Well, you're right. Uh, I'll go on with my story there. Barty in the USA. Um, the the bars that I'd go in, I would play that song in response to people um, playing like White Snake or Rat or Poison or just any <laughs> right. like hair metal or or if I have <laughs> yeah. if I have to hear Chicken Fried again. You're going to yeah. hear Party in the fucking USA. And I put yeah. 20 bucks in that fucking machine. And we played Party in the USA on repeat. Oh, and, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where did you do this at? Uh, the back 40. They banned me. Oh, okay. Sounds, they banned me yeah. from ever touching the jukebox right. again. Right. Yeah. And I got banned. I, you, I, dude, I played, the street. I played uh, I Believe I Can Fly or William Hung in the back 40. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. It's really loud. Guys yeah. really like pissing off. They Hillbilly. they un they unplugged me when I played Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer by William <laughs> Hung at uh, Northside. They literally just unplugged it. <laughs> you guys are a couple jukebox bandits. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I get, my goal was, when I was younger was to get blacklisted from every bar in the area. There it is again. Um, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to TV shows that debuted in the year two thousand nine. Um, let's see, we've got Modern Family. It debuted in 2009. It was basically Arrested Development that didn't get cut. Um, a lot of the similar things and 
in that in that regard but um i don't know i, I guess it's okay i've seen a little bit of it um but uh, i can't really say too much about it uh, another one that debuted in 2009 we got the vampire diaries um and then we've got uh parks and rec parks and rec uh debuted uh-huh. in 2009 now that's a good show the first season that's was a great show you know okay the second season was better and then when they got ben and or they got uh what is his name rob Lowe and adam scott mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know it just all took off uh, it's just a fantastic show uh, really funny stuff uh really good excellent worth watch it's worth a rewatch too it's very well done um yeah i damn near watched that show completely through twice yeah i think um i know i've done it at least twice more than a couple episodes more so uh, another this was a huge hit when it came out in 2009 huge i remember like it was, it was glee remember glee that took over i don't yeah. remember it yeah but... yeah yeah well, what what was the plot of that isn't it just like people singing a cappella or something it's a glee club i think it's like a drama club but it's just for singing you know um huh okay so like a choir but like i think they do like a whole like song sets and something i don't know glee club i know we didn't have it at the school we went to um but i guess i don't know i'm assuming stuff happens with the kids in the glee club and there's teenage problems amongst other things life and yeah. you know, so, <laughs> have you seen it baller <laughs> yeah yeah uh god i think i had to watch a few episodes once and uh i did black that out i honestly don't remember much um yeah you try not to actually pay attention no yeah um we got uh another one that came out in 2009 archer archer came out in 2009 um i think oh, i watched man. the first season of that i didn't mind it but it was i, I couldn't get into it so i just never watched it anymore mm-hmm. yeah i never um, got into it either i saw some and i mm-hmm. liked it but just never got into it yeah it's same here uh eastbound and down uh that came out in 2009 um the league came out in 2009 which is a show about uh fantasy football league between guys and they just um i've heard that's really really good but again i, I haven't really watched that either uh and this last one i'm going to mention uh it's called it's uh, the tonight show with conan o'brien uh debuted in 2009 um, I thought maybe we'd we'd talk about that oh, okay. for a second. Um, yeah. Now the Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, for people who don't remember, um, was known for at least five years that he was going to take over the Tonight Show when Jay Leno it for Jay Leno in five years. Yeah. That five years came. Conan O'Brien was announced as the Tonight Show host, and uh, he, uh, I think, he had it for like six months. And their ratings weren't doing well. Um, but they uh, had decided that they still wanted to keep Jay Leno. So um, they put the Jay Leno uh, on before Conan. Basically taking his lead in. Right. Um, and then having the Tonight Show at like 1130 at night. And then they pushed, it, tried to push it back again and have the Tonight Show at midnight the next day. It can't be the Tonight Show when it's the next day. And so Conan right. refused to do that. <laughs> And then it just, uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Baller, something's up with your mic, man. Is it? Is that the, his mic? Well, who, whatever's going on. I'm not sure. Who, I'm not sure. What's going on? I'm, I'm right. not sure either. That's so I weird. Know, if you, if, if Baller, if you can't hear anything, but uh, we can. I mean, I, I mean, that might also have something to do with it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Something. Uh-huh. Something is buzzing. That's for sure. It's just weird. It's just out of nowhere. Yeah. Um. I guess we'll just uh, we'll continue here then. <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> uh, yeah, but uh, one of my favorite things about the Tonight Show, that whole thing, um, was when uh, uh, Norm Macdonald. That uh, was the last night that Conan O'Brien was going to be on the Tonight Show, or like second to last night. It was near the end when he knew it was over. He was canceled. He was just he was not going to go along with what NBC was wanting, and uh, that was it. Um, so he just. You know, Norm Macdonald shows up with a basket full of, like fruit or something, and he brings it to uh, to Conan, and he's like, "Oh, that's very nice. You know, thank you." And he's like, "Oh," and he's like, "You here to you know give me a gift for my going away?" He's like, "Oh, that that that's not what that is, Jay, or not Jay, uh, Conan." He's like, "Oh, okay, yeah. yeah." And he's like, "Oh, there's a card on it." He reads the. He's like, "Can I read the card, Conan?" He's like, "Yeah, go ahead, read the card." And he's like, "All right," and he's like, "It's Conan O'Brien," and he's like, 
congratulations on securing your permanent role your role as permanent host of the tonight show and everyone laughs and he's like that is something they can never take away from you <laughs> it's brilliant man uh and it's it's uh it's so good or something about yeah. as i know you conan o'brien miserable failure is not your name <laughs> uh it's just uh i remember that that was oh god that's such a good such a good moment but Oh, yeah. yeah, the Tonight Show, Conan O'Brien, six months, didn't last long, uh, never really given too much of a chance. And uh, Jay Leno is a shrewd, shrewd dude. Um, top TV shows of 2009, basic television, we got American Idol, Dancing with the Stars, <coughs> NCIS, mm -hmm. Sunday Night Football, The Mentalist, Undercover Boss, CSI, Grey's Anatomy, and Two and a Half Men. Oh, um, God, that's all awful, dude. Yep. Those are the top All TV of shows it. of basic Just TV. Trash TV. Yep. My worst TV shows, Jersey Shore debuted in 2009. That oh fucking train wreck. Yeah. God, what an awful show. Oh, yeah. It just, uh, it's, I, I, I don't know how people get into that and watch it and actually want to, like, like, get into it and don't watch mm -hmm. it just for, like, the train wreck right. that it is. Uh, that boggles my mind. <laughs> Absolutely boggles sure. my mind. Um, it's one of the worst shows I have ever seen. Some of the worst groups of people I have ever seen on TV. Um, oh, yeah. You will learn nothing from them, only what not to do. <laughs> there is nothing to take away from that show other than how not to be. That's the only thing. You know, what show is this again? The Jersey Shore. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's a prime <laughs> oh, okay. example. Yeah. Prime example. Jersey sure. Shore. Um, another one, maybe the worst show of the whole decade toddlers and tiaras oh god a complete that's just disgusting and yeah. it's creepy and it's weird and i found our, our local uh county fair or something like that is having like a basically like a, a toddler pageant show um i'm pretty they sure they are not yeah really? I, I read somewhere that they were going to do that or they were trying to get it and people oh, like that's a thing anymore you really like, this is you know this is fucked up <laughs> this isn't normal you shouldn't want to bring yeah. your toddler and dress up in makeup and skimpy clothing one of the toddlers in the toddlers and tiara show was dressed like uh, julie roberts character from pretty woman you know, mm. she plays a whore she's a prostitute on the street she, that's her character that's the whole thing and they've got their little toddler dressed like like a prostitute and it's there was so a, weird Christ. even had a spin-off show the the here comes honey boo boo oh right show. oh man south park just oh god that is so fucking funny it, it, I'm there, honey boo boo <laughs> there was a great uh, it's always sunny episode based on that too frank's oh yeah frank's little beauties yeah little that's beauties. right yeah, yeah. Oh, like, frank you look like a monster it's so good he's like i brought a guy from the funeral home to try and make it look less suspicious that makes it look more suspicious frank yeah. he's like we need yeah. to have it's a song like a corpse we yeah you look like a corpse we're yeah. talking about diddling kids you know it's got to go something like hey, hey i do not diddle kids hey, hey. he's like there is no quicker way for people to think that you're doing kids and have a song about diddling kids yeah. <laughs> the whole time his nose is just bleeding <laughs> right yeah it's just, it's just some in that's right because he comes running into the bar and he trips on something and he's like yeah. oh my nose <laughs> for the rest of the episode yeah. it's all about it it just gets worse and worse <laughs> oh god it's such a oh, fuck that's a, that's a, that's Amazing. one of my favorite episodes of yeah. always sunny um yeah, but just toddlers and tiaras, just terrible show. Tiaras, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> Another worst TV show of two thousand nine, the Jay Leno show. That's right, I put it on there. The Jay Leno yeah. show. And the I last one, uh, uh, Courtney and Kim take Miami. Where they took it, what? I don't know. Is it like the Muppets? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Muppets take Manhattan. Yeah, it's ripping off the Muppets here. Courtney and Kim oh, Kardashian man. take Miami somewhere the muppets, take Man the muppets take manhattan courtney and kim take miami it's like it's like a chess game right They're right like setting yeah. up the pieces it's like fucking risk the second for, yeah for war the your, war is coming your move muppets you yeah. know yeah. right <laughs> all right um and that will do for the worst tv shows of 2009 um now we'll get to video games released in 2009 uh, for the PC on June second, The Sims Three was released. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I remember I played a lot of that. Yeah, The Sims, just fantastic. 
fantastic oh, little yeah. game. I played a lot of that recently, as in like in the past few years. Did mm-hmm. you do any? Just because I, I think I torrented it and just got all the expansions, and then <laughs> I modded it and made it. Yeah, that's the one because you had mentioned that in a previous episode about me torturing people in the sims in the sims yeah yeah in the sims. yeah it was the sims 3 <laughs> where i created or i adopted four kids and turned them into hideous monsters and kept them in like you could like have multiple basements they were like the fifth basement <laughs> down oh, just sealed in each in their own sealed little room and all they did was paint oh that's the painting okay <laughs> yeah they, they, and they got really good at painting and I modified their uh, social skills to where they were like introverts. They didn't need to be around people or anything. You know, it's like I was I was definitely playing God. And they were all <laughs> right. just hideous, hideous looking monsters. <laughs> and they all they did was paint all the time. And I would sell the paintings so I didn't have right. to work. Right. Yeah. And they never left. I never let them out. <laughs> it's incredible. I would, I, I would take the elevator down to visit them, like through the look through the windows at them. <laughs> yeah, man, I I got some weird thoughts. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have weird ideas. Do you still have that save game? <laughs> no, no, I got rid of that. I was gonna say you could like take that, <laughs> show like a clip of that. We could take this audio to back that just to show. But yeah, I'm gonna use it in my trial probably. Yeah. That's coming up. <laughs> Recreate the the freak I'm baby painters. It. I'm gonna try it in real life. <laughs> yeah. Try it in real life. <clears throat> yep. Oh yeah. Oh God, no. That's uh... <laughs> hell yeah. Those are goals. All right. Uh, uh, for on August twenty fifth for the PS three and the Xbox three sixty, Batman Arkham Asylum was released. Um those are good games. Um was it Arkham Asylum, they had Arkham City and then Arkham Knight, and Arkham Knight for the PC was that disaster Batman game. They fixed came, it though. They fixed it, but yeah, when it was released it was just like got, broken. I believe I got Arkham Knight free when I bought my processor for my computer. Like it came with a free copy of that game. <laughs> That nice. was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, on October 13th, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves was released on the PS3. Um, I've heard good things about the Uncharted series, but I haven't really, you know, I haven't played any of them. Uh, on October 29th, I got Bayonetta for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Uh, their Bayonetta 3, I think, is coming out soon, or they just announced it. It's basically like a hack and slash, like a Devil May Cry type. Mm-hmm. Um, type game right. It'd be like over the top and crazy but a lot of fun um, on November 3rd Dragon Age Origins was released for the PAC the PS3 and the Xbox oh recently. nice Origins? Yeah, Solid. I played some of that yeah um, and on November 10th we had the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the mm. PC PS3 and the Xbox 360 yeah that was a great huge game, game. that huge was a played great game a lot of that yeah um this one was a favorite of mine. Uh, November 15th for the Wii. New Super Mario Brothers Wii was released. That one was a lot of fun. It's yeah, where you could have you know, a side scroller and you could have all your friends join you. And then you realize oh, that. Oh, sucked. Yeah, sucked it was me. so hard because your friend would jump on your head as you were jumping and he would just yep. all end up accidentally kill each other. It just turned, yeah, it turned into just chaos. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, then we got, uh, let's see. On November 17th, Assassin's Creed 2 for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Um, played a little bit of the first Assassin's Creed. I like Assassin's Creed game, but I like the gameplay, I like all that stuff. I hate it when they bring it to the future. And I don't know why Why even bothers. I don't care about that story. I've never cared about right. it. Right. You know, you know right. what I'm talking about, Baller? Right. Yeah, I, I feel I, the same way. <laughs> uh, did you play uh, Assassin's Creed Origins? I think it's what it's called. It's free on like Xbox Game Pass right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I installed that. I was playing. I was having a good time. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I'm in a test tube. And it's all like right. the year 2100. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't want to be here. Yeah. I think the um, gameplay is way better in those games, obviously, than the yeah. story. But if yeah. you haven't, you should definitely play uh, Valhalla as well. Yeah. I, I plan um, to. Yeah. That's a great one. But yeah, right. the story, not so much. All right, we'll now move now to <laughs> worst video game of 2009. And we have we have this game here that was released on April 29th for the PC. And it is called Stalin vs. Martians. And Stalin. <clears throat> Stalin like Joseph vs. Stalin? Like Joseph Stalin. Stalin. Oh, my God. 
Stalin vs. Martians is a parody real-time strategy video game developed by Black Wing Foundation, Dreamlore, and Endgame, released on April 29, 2009. Described as trashy and over-the-top by its creators, by its creators. The game mocks <laughs> World War II strategy games and utilizes Python-esque humor. The developers state that Stalin vs. Martians is obviously a parody, which sometimes gets close to being a satire, and is halfway to becoming a trash icon of gaming industry for years. In some interviews, the lead designer of the game compares Stalin vs. Martians to the Troma films. Those awesome 80s films that you remember. Hmm. Uh, Troma. Um, like the garbage, uh, what's it called? The the nuclear waste fellow. What the hell? I can't think of his name. Toxic Crusader. Like the, yeah, that mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. Um, Stalin vs. Martians received scathing reviews from the critics. It has an average score of 23.41% on game rankings, as well as a 25% on Metacritic. GameSpot awarded the game a 1.5 out of 10, calling it perhaps the worst RTS game ever created. The site also named it 2009's flat out worst game. IGN, which rated the game a 2 out of 10, noted the game's total lack of any RTS-related elements and asked whether it was made in 1994 and sealed into a vault until 2009, given how dated the visuals looked. Resolution, awarding the game a 35%, warned readers not to purchase the game, but concede that it is occasionally incredibly amusing. Uh, Rock Paper Shotgun called the game rubbish, but admitted there's certainly car crash value, especially if you tie yourself in theoretical knots deciding exactly how much of the game is satire um, the escapist was more positive noting that whatever it was it's clear that the development team had a very fun time making the game and filling it with as many soviet cliches as possible and the, pre- <laughs> the presentation can be funny and it is so absurd at times that you really have to experience for the sheer audacity of it but <laughs> the game itself is below average at best <laughs> and uh, <laughs> That is the worst video game of 2009. It was between oh, that man. and Leisure Suit Larry, uh, something bust. But it's just another sexual right. game that's just lame. I just, yeah. uh, I've covered those. Oh, enough. there was a sequel to Leisure Suit Larry? There's a couple of them. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it's mm. also bad. Um, <laughs> and then that, that will do it for 2009. That's the whole decade. Um, Holy I would just, shit. Yeah, that was a, started a while mm. ago. Uh, let's say back, what, March, maybe? Yeah, March. Yeah, and uh, we're just finishing it now. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a lot of fun going back mm-hmm. through and reading up on things I hadn't even thought of in a long time. Um, yeah, it's uh it's been it's been a good time. It's really interesting. Like I said, we will be getting to the '90s soon. Um, I might do the parasocial one podcast uh, maybe next week uh, if I can't get. Um, see how my buddy's uh, internet connection is but if we can't get that then we'll be going to parasocial and uh, after that then we'll be jumping into the 90s um and as always on i know thank you guys for for joining me here for helping me out for yes. the podcast uh, mm-hmm. and with that sure i mm-hmm. hope you enjoyed listening to our conversation and will join us again for another installment of history with Hersafat. don't forget to hydrate exercise and to like and subscribe to the podcast all these things are essential for your health and well-being take care of yourselves and each other